Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic with a special announcement for the channel. Um, it's the 1st of November. It's the beginning of the holiday seasons. It is a wonderful time of year, and what a perfect time to do a charity drive. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again to do another charity drive. And this time, we're going back to where it all started. We're going back to a charity that is very near and dear to my heart and Mrs. Heretic's heart as well. We both very strongly believe in this charity. It's a wonderful charity, a charity that she and I have supported for decades. We are talking about St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The mission of St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital is to advance cures and means of prevention for pediatric catastrophic diseases through research and treatment. Consistent with the vision of their founder, Danny Thomas, no child is denied treatment based on race, religion, creed, or a family's ability to pay. Their approach makes them different from most children's hospitals. Founder and entertainer Danny Thomas opened the doors to St. Jude in 1962 with the dream that, and I quote, no child should die in the dawn of life. That's so true. Unlike any other hospital, the majority of their funding comes from individual contributions. And thanks to generous donors, families never receive a bill from St. Jude. Families never receive a bill from St. Jude for treatment, travel, housing, or food because all the family should worry about is helping their child live. St. Jude has treated children from all 50 states and from around the world. Treatments invented at St. Jude have helped push the overall childhood cancer survival rate from 20% to over 80% since it opened more than 50 years ago. These children and their families absolutely deserve your support. They never did anything to deserve to be struck down by these terrible diseases. And it's extremely unfair that they may not be able to experience a full life because of it. Um, children should have every opportunity to live their lives and experience life and have the health and the ability to experience life to its fullest. We need to do everything we can to give these kids a fair chance and to help them beat these awful afflictions and diseases so they can hopefully lead full prosperous lives. We also have an added pressure. Um, I believe in this community. I believe in this channel. I believe that in the people and all of you that make this channel the amazing channel that it is and the amazing community that it is. So I believe in you all so much that I threw down the gauntlet and I challenged just Jen to compete against us and see which channel can raise the most money for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Uh, I believe we can raise more money than her channel. I really and truly do. And I'm willing to put my name, my reputation, and my pride on the line. Uh, <laughs> so I challenged her. I, I, I went on a live stream with her and I challenged her and uh, she accepted the challenge. So we have a little bet going. Uh, whichever channel brings in the most money for St. Jude's, uh, they win and they get the crown and they get the pride and they get the accolades. The losing channel, the owner of the channel, whether it be me or Jen, has to do a lip sync video. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I am extremely competitive and I hate losing more than anything in this world. I hate losing. I do not want to lose to Jen and her Squirrel Squad. I believe in this community and I believe in all of you and I know, I know you won't let me down. Now, Jen and I have both mutually agreed that since she has four times the numbers of members in her, in her fan base than I do, uh, we both agreed to this. Uh, we're gonna get a four times handicap. That means for every $100 that this channel brings in, her channel has to bring in 400. So we get a four times multiplier handicap. Now, that doesn't mean that we're gonna win. Remember, keep in mind, she has like, I think she has over 138,000 members in her Squirrel Squad. Um, so all they have to do is donate a dollar each and we could be in serious trouble, but I don't care. <laughs> 
We are not losing to Jen and her rodents. Please keep in mind that no matter which channel wins and what channel loses, <clears throat> her channel, ultimately the winners are the kids and the families and St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The more money that both channels can generate, the more money that both channels can raise, the more the kids and their families benefit and the more that St. Jude's Research Hospital benefits. And ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what really matters. This, this friendly competition, it's for fun, it's for laughs, it's for giggles, it's for motivation. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. The real winners are the kids, their families, and St. Jude's. Now, I've always asked everybody on the channel to contribute, and I've always wanted to get the entire channel involved as much as possible. But in the past, I've always kind of singled out one particular army to give them some incentive to really step up. You know what I mean? I, I, I would love that the entire channel stepped up. Don't get me wrong. I would love the entire channel to contribute and be a part of this fundraiser. But I always like to kind of single out one particular army. Now, it, so far, so far, let's be honest here. Um, <laughs> the reigning champs are still the warning army. Uh, they raised over $15,000 about two years ago. And they have not been beaten yet. And if I'm being perfectly honest here, they haven't even been challenged. Not even remotely close. Uh, Pearl Jam couldn't beat them. Nightwish couldn't beat them. Uh, not even close from both of them. So <laughs> I'm not sure any single army will ever dethrone the champs. But we're gonna try something new. And I'm really hoping that this works. This is an experiment. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but I'm really hoping it works. I'm not calling out one. I'm not calling out two. I am calling out three different armies. Well, actually it's five different armies, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Um, I'm calling out the following armies to step up big and let's see if you guys can do what Nightwish could not do and what Pearl Jam could not do. I wanna see if you guys can beat the warning army. So I am calling out Love Bites fans, Muse fans, and Bandmade fans. I'm calling all three groups out. Don't think I didn't see in the comments and the other charity videos that I did saying, well, you should have picked Love Bites fans because we would have hit that goal easy. Or, or, if you had picked Muse fans, we would have had, we would have made the goal in two days instead of two weeks. And then one of my personal favorites, this one was great. If you had been, if, if this had been Bandmate's chance, we would have taken the crown from the warning and left them in the dust. Well, all right, you made those comments, you made those boasts. Now it's time to put your money where your mouth is. I'm calling all three fan bases out. That's right, If let's see. Let's see if Love Bites fans, Muse fans, and Bandmate fans can come together and fight together for the greater good. Now as always, one of the things that I know that motivates people are rewards, and I'm very big on that. I'm very big on rewarding hard work and dedication, and charity especially. I know, I know charity motivates me more than anything else does. So I'm gonna give you guys some incentives. I'm gonna give you guys some chances to get some things that you really want. So here's what we're gonna do. I figure we're gonna need to raise at least $30,000 if we have any chance of beating Just Jen and her Squirrel Scott. Remember, we get that four times handicap. So if we raise $30,000, she has to raise $120,000. So there's a chance here. Now, as always, to incentivize you all, I have three tiers, except no, I don't. I don't have three tiers. I have six tiers, that's right. Count them, six tiers. Uh, if you hit the tier, you win the prize on that tier. It's really that simple. So we have six tiers, that means six possible prizes. Well, there's actually more, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Now, here's the best part. Mrs. Heretic and I were talking over dinner the other night, and she wants to be a part of this. As a matter of fact, she wants to be a big part of this. She knows that, you know, her getting involved is really gonna help motivate you guys to, you know, contribute even more. 
So she's going to be jumping in here and she's going to be doing every single video, every single one with me. Now I'm going to be with her, obviously, but it, it, this is going to be her first exposure to all three bands. It'll be her first exposure to Love Bites, her first exposure to Muse, and her first exposure to Bandmade. And I know that's what a lot of you have wanted. Well, we're going to give you what you want if we can hit the tiers. So here's how the tiers are going to work. If we hit the first tier, which is $5,000, you get your first Love Bites reaction from Mrs. Heretic. If we hit 10,000, that's the second tier, you get your first reaction from Mrs. Heretic to Muse. If you hit the third tier, which is $15,000, you guys get your first reaction from Mrs. Heretic to Bandmade. Tier four is $20,000. You hit that, you get your second Love Bites reaction, not one, two reactions from Mrs. Heretic to Love Bites. If you hit the fifth tier, which is $25,000, you get your second reaction from Mrs. Heretic to Muse. So you get not one, you get two reactions from Mrs. Heretic to Muse. Now, if you hit the sixth tier, which is $30,000, you get your second bandmade reaction from Mrs. Heretic. So that's six possible reactions from Mrs. Heretic the three bands that you all have been itching to see her react to. There you go, you get what you want. Now you've probably heard me a couple times mention, well, there's actually a little bit more, but we'll talk about it later. Well, here we are later. I'm gonna give you guys, and Mrs. Heretic is gonna give you guys a little bonus incentive. Regardless of whatever tier we hit, it doesn't matter if we hit tier three, tier five, tier six, it doesn't matter. If we beat just Jen and her Squirrel Squad, and we bring in more donations to this channel than her channel is able to generate, remember we get a four times handicap, that always is a big help, then you get two bonus reactions from Mrs. Heretic. And I hope you're paying attention, Epica fans and Sabaton fans, because I'm talking directly to you now. If we beat Just Jen, we beat her channel, and we bring in more donations than her channel brings in, then Mrs. Heretic has agreed to do reactions to both Epica and Sabaton as a bonus for winning the competition. So when it's all said and done, we could possibly end up with eight reactions from Mrs. Heretic to five bands that she's never seen before. Of course, I'm gonna be right there with her, you know, reacting to her reaction. We're gonna have some fun with it, but who knows? I've seen in the comments people saying that new songs have been dropped and new songs are coming soon and we just might pick a song or two that are brand new and I haven't reacted to yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and in. At the end of the day, this is all for the kids, it's all for their families, and it's all for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Uh, every single penny that both channels generate uh, goes directly to St. Jude's. YouTube and Google, they don't touch a dime. It all goes to the charity, and that's one of the things I actually love about this platform is they don't, they don't, de they don't touch it at all. It all goes to the charity, which is where it all should go anyway. Um, so that's what really matters is we're gonna do something amazing. Both channels, both Just Chen and this channel are gonna do some amazing things here, and we're gonna raise some serious money for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital to help those kids and help their families and to give them the opportunities that they absolutely deserve. So let's all dig deep. Let's all give to a great cause. Let's beat the snot out of Jen and her rodents. Yeah, and let's help some families in need. So guys, gals, ladies and gents, let's get those fingers up. Get your fingers up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You over there sitting there smirking like you're not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm talking to you and, yeah, and you over there, sitting there with your arms crossed in defiance, how dare you? Get those fingers up, every single one of you. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do it all together, and we're gonna do it for St. Jude's, we're gonna do it for the families, and most importantly, we're gonna do it for the kids. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it for all of them, because here we go.